Hey guys, Satan, welcome back to my channel. So Thanksgiving has just ended and chances are you have some leftover turkey in your fridge. Well, I have the recipe for you that is the perfect thing to do with your Thanksgiving leftovers. You can also use this anytime you have leftover chicken or you can even make fresh chicken just for it. It is that good. So let's just get right started. Today I'm making turkey fried rice. It is such a quick and delicious dinner. Like legitimately, you're gonna wanna eat it straight out of the pan, which I'm probably gonna do today. Let's just get right started. Over here on my stovetop, I have a large frying pan. Put it on a nice high heat and I'm just gonna take some vegetable oil and put it in here because we are frying this. So you want some oil in there, hence the name. Okay, so our pan is now getting nice and hot and to this, I'm going to be adding in some diced up onions, and you guys know I do not like cutting onions on camera, so these are pre-cut because it would, be, it would look like I'm sad, but I'm not sad because I'm making fried rice, so I cut them beforehand, so I'm not crying on camera, and also gonna add in some diced up carrot. One of the things that I love about fried rice, you can literally use whatever you have. So if you have a different type of vegetable left over from your Thanksgiving meal, or whatever meal you've been eating, whether it's Thanksgiving or not Thanksgiving, whenever you're making this, you can fry it in here too. It's super versatile, you can literally put whatever you have in house or whatever you like in there. So we're just gonna fry these up until they start getting nice and golden brown on the edges. Okay, so our onions and carrots have gotten nice and caramelized on the edges. And now to this, I'm going to add in some of our shredded turkey or chicken, whatever you have in the house works. And now let's mix this around and we're gonna let this cook now for about two to three minutes to get some nice browned edges on the turkey. Okay, this is looking great. Now I'm gonna grab some of my rice. This is day old rice. That is the best thing you could do if you can make this the day before, cook it, put it out on a cookie sheet, put it in the fridge, get it nice and just like firmed up. If you're making this last minute, you can always just make the rice, cool it and then do it right away. But day old is always the best for this. So let's add in this rice all into here. And along with that, I'm gonna add in actually a little more oil so that it can actually fry, hence the name, fried rice. Okay, so now that I've cut my scallions, my rice is going, I'm going to grab my soy sauce. I'm gonna add this straight into here, and I wanna make sure that you like kind of pour it all around so it doesn't only get on one part. Okay, next up, now that that's all mixed together, I'm gonna add in our scallions into here. And again, mix it all up. Right over here, I have two large eggs. I know this might sound weird, but I'm actually gonna add them straight into the rice, mix it up, and we're gonna make sure that it's fully combined. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna coat all the pieces of rice in a little bit of egg, which is really delicious. Now over here, I'm going to grab some of these frozen peas, add those into here for some more flavor and color. Then right over here, I just chopped up some peanuts that I'm also gonna add in there. Again, we're just trying to add tons of great textures, flavors, uh, and just all the things, and colors, because you want your fried rice to be colorful. And again, let's just mix it up. Okay, so while this is finishing cooking, let me show off some of my chef skills. Hopefully I'll not make a mess, but I've practiced this many times. Ready? We dropped a few pieces, but, oh God. Okay, I'm just gonna stop, I'm just stopping. Okay, nope, that was enough of that. Okay, perfect, this is now looking basically done. I'm now just gonna add a touch of sriracha. Not sponsored, but definitely delicious. Let's get a nice amount of that into there. And finally, one last mix up. Okay, there we go, it is now done. Let me just grab a fork from right here. And you could plate this up, but I think I'm just gonna go for a bite right 
Now I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything in here. Let's see, we want some of the turkey, we want some of the peas, the rice. Okay, look at that. It is probably way too hot to eat right now, so I'm gonna give this a minute to cool off. But if you look here, we have a pea over there, we have the turkey, we have carrot, we have peanut, we have onion, and this is a great way to use your leftovers from Thanksgiving or really any time of throughout the year. If you have some leftover chicken, leftover turkey, you have some leftover vegetables, leftover rice, it is the perfect thing to do. It takes no time at all to make and it is absolutely delicious. Okay, let's go in for the bite. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. It has a little kick of the heat from the sriracha, the beautiful flavor from the soy sauce. It just all comes together into an absolutely delicious fried rice. If you want the recipe, the link, as always, is in the description box below. If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button because, I mean, who doesn't love using up leftovers that are in the fridge? And if you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's big, it's red, it's free, and you should click it if you haven't already. So be the first to know when I post new videos. Okay, if you need me, I will literally just be eating the rest of this fried rice from the pan because it's that good. Bye.